This is the Spartacus Total Body Blitz, and it's exactly like it sounds. It's fast and it's furious. 20 seconds doesn't seem like a long time, but it is when you're going full speed like you're running 100 meters. So here's the deal with intervals. When we have short work times like 20 seconds, you got to get it done and you got to get it done safely. When you have your 40 seconds off, you take your time to rest, you bring that heart rate down, then we get back in the 20 hard again. We put this together over three rounds. When you're done, you're going to understand why we call this total body blitz. So the first round, we're going to do 20 seconds of exercise. We're going to rest for 20 seconds. We're going to slow it down. We're going to get the patterns right. We're going to get our body prepared to move. Reverse lunge to balance our knee drive. This will be your first exercise. So we're going to step back. You don't have to go deep. But the hip sink as the knee bends, foot's flat on the ground, knee stays over the ankle. You power up to a knee drive or to start, you can just come up to a tap. Start get that pattern going. So if you guys are ready to roll, Oh my goodness. If you guys are ready to roll, that's a little bit better. At home, if you're ready to roll, it's the first exercise. Three, two, one, go. Same side for 10 seconds. Step back. Cole Wren, I'm going to tell you something later. No joke right there, and you're going to see it come down with an exercise we have in store for you later. Switch sides. It's quick, but it's going to be efficient. So get these down. Jill, always looking great. Keep that toe pulled up in the front and rest. We got 20 seconds off. It's not a lot of time at home. We'll give you more later when we jack it up. T rotation looks like this. Strong position. You guys can get down. Don't go yet. You're just going to stay strong. Arms through the ground. Hips stay level. Keep them up. Going side to side. Okay? So no push up yet. We're going to go three, two, one, go. That's it. Open those hips up. Point them toward the wall that you open to. Head and shoulders turn in line with the hips. Strong hand driving through the floor. You've got about 10 seconds left. Get that core going. I love that straight line, Nicole. That's beautiful. Feet are rotating. You guys look solid back here. Two, one, rest. Two down. Eight to go. You know how it is. Drop split. Let me show you the drop split. So we got our feet set in a little bit of an athletic stance. You're going to drop split back to top. So that's the drop and the split to top. You can go deeper or you can stay shallow. Still getting those engines running. Three, two, one, go. Back here with my man Roger. Good. See that little pop in the middle? So he's getting warmed up. He's feeling like a sprinter back here. So he's got that little pop. We got Nicole. She's going a little bit different. She's getting that deeper range of motion. She's firing up that hip by sitting back into her heel. Go slow. Get your balance. Two more seconds. Good job, Jill. Rest. Good job. Quadruped, alternating row. Grab your dumbbells quickly. Quickly, quickly. Let's bring them out. You guys get them at home. We're going to start this one, which later might be in a plank, but we're going to do it on our knees. Strong arm in the ground. I want you to just get those pulling muscles going. So you guys ready? Three, two, one, go. So setting those base, set that base with the knees. Sitting back into your hips. Good job. That was a good adjustment, Nicole. Sitting back in those hips, pull those elbows up toward the ceiling, squeeze that shoulder blade, that other hand is driving through the floor. Five more seconds, fire that back, fire those biceps. That's what this is all about, rest. We're going to do a tempo thruster. You can use light weight right now, or you can use your body weight. So body weight would look like this. We sit those hips back as we bend our knees, we come up with our hands overhead. Lighter weight, you guys can drop. Not too deep, just start getting that pattern. So grab those dumbbells or body weight. Two, one, go. So we sit back, punch those hands up. So we got Roger back here. He's just gonna be going body weight right here. He's sitting back into those hips, punching through. I love how the hips are coming through. He breaks the glutes at the top. He's got about eight seconds. Jill, always right into it. You don't even know. Stay with her at home. You will get a workout. Rest, body weight, act swing. I love this exercise. Two reasons. One, it's going to start to wake up that back side of our body right here. So when we come down with our hands together, slight bend in the knee, push the hips back, flat back like I want to put a tray of food on it, drive those arms up to the top, squeeze the glutes. Three, two, one, go. Trying to take me down, Raj. Trying to take me down. Now you know what? We got two, we got two and a half rounds left. You see that? It's on now. We're back here with the law, laying it down. The kid's on a jailbreak. Here we go, because that is his name, Roger Law. Beautiful, Nicole. Drive those hands back. We don't want to arch too far behind. Squeeze those shoulder blades at the top. Rest. Body weight squat with rotation. Make sure you're breathing at home. Deep breath in through the nose. Blow it out through the mouth. Relax. Body weight squat with rotation. We'll set our feet. 
You guys will just come down, elbows go inside the knees, up, just a little turn. If you want to use light weight in a goblet right now, you can. Three, two, one, go. Hips back as we come up and rotate. Beautiful. So you guys see this? We're going to come right over here on Chad. He's got those hips going back, the knees stay out, foot's flat on the floor until he rotates. Chest is up, he rotates away, head's in line with the spine. Looking good back here, two, one, rest. I used the two, I said two like looking good, two and seconds. I'm on the game right now, stay with us, stay with us. So we're gonna do a tempo, alternating high pull. So lightweight or body weight, but I'd like you to use a little lightweight if you can. So we're gonna set those feet, bend the knees, push the hips back, it's gonna come right here. Drive those elbows to the sky, set, go. Good, so I want you guys to come all the way up at the top, drive those elbows up to the ceiling, Pull that dumbbell nice and close, right up your body line. Perfect. You just don't want that way out in front of you, and we don't want that wrist to bend at the top. So it's a nice straight wrist. Elbows high to the sky, standing all the way up. Good, Chad. And rest. Skater hop with touch. Let's get those dumbbells in front of you or off to the side. At home, be sure that you clear your space, especially when we start doing moves like this. Skater hop looks like this. Side, you guys can touch. Just get it patterned. Bend the knee a little bit, sink into the hip a little bit. Ready? Two, one, go. That's it. Now, I told you we had something special in the store. There she is, Nicole Wren. She is in. This is her deal right here. World class speed skater. You wait till you see later how explosive she gets. And if you want to rip it up, you stay with her. I'm not sleeping on you, Roger, because I know you get it done. Tap that foot if you need to. Rest. One more. We got one more right here in this warm up round. One more, 20 seconds of work. We got a power squat. It's gonna look like this. We're gonna start at the top and try to balance here. We're gonna drive those hands down and back. And we're gonna come back up to the top with a pause. You guys stay with me, I'm gonna do it with you. Go at my pace, you guys can work with me at home. Hands up, down, pause, up, down, up. Oh, I'm working the balance right now. Down, up, good. Drive those hands back, push those hips back. Weight should be in the heel at the bottom. Chest should be up. We have five more seconds. Good, this is prepping what we got later. And rest. Whew, 60 seconds of rest. So, we designed this to be cumulative. We designed this so that when you guys get to round three, it's gonna be all in. 20 seconds, you are getting away from the cops. You are running full speed like someone's chasing you and you're gonna need all 40 to catch your win. That's the way this goes down. So the first exercise you're getting ready to do, regain your composure. Get right here with us, get right here with us. We're gonna do that reverse lunge to a knee raise. Now you can add weight now if you want. You can hold those dumbbells in your hand, or this round, you can keep them out, but I want you to move quick. We only have 20 seconds to get it done. So it's same leg for 10, switch to the opposite leg for the last 10. You guys with me? All right, I wanna start seeing some sweat rolling. I want some energy on this, oh my goodness. I'm calling, mm -hmm. I'm calling for sweat. That's what I get from Roger Law. Two, one, go. Stepping back, power up. Good, so you see the tempo right here on Chad? It's down, up, knee and hip, knee and hip. They work together, we call it a bone rhythm. Everything moves at the same time. You're switching, I hope you switched. Here we go, because you know at home, we're pushing now. Lock that hip in, lock that leg in, Nicole, lock it in. Two, one, rest. I think they're sleeping on me a little bit. Don't worry, next round, I got them. I got them next round. They're saving it up because they know what's coming. So you're gonna stay with us, we're gonna do a T push-up. So T push-up is gonna go like this. You guys rest, you've earned it, sort of. So we're gonna go like this. You can either stay where we were, do not let that hip drop when you rotate. That is what's most important about this exercise. Strong arm in the ground, strong hand at the top, separate them. Heads in line with the spine, body, ear to ankle, locked in. If you want to get crazy, you add a push-up. You guys come on down to the floor and get ready to do some work. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. It's your choice. Just rotate open. Good, and if you don't want to do the push-up, don't. Just stay in that T rotation. I'd rather you get 20 seconds of explosive work than 20 seconds of slow, grinding, no good form work. Four, three, two, one, rest, rest. I know at home you're like, ooh, this isn't so bad right now. I feel all right, I feel okay. Hang in, hang in, because it's total body blitz and it's coming at you. 
split squat jump. So right here, if you're ready to step it up and go to the next level, you can do that drop squat if you want, drop the pop, and then alternate, or jab, give him a little love, show him one up and back. Oh, there's the switch right there, arms driving, rest. Higher you come off the ground, harder it's gonna be. Faster you switch your feet, it's all intention. 20 seconds, remember what I said? It's NASCAR, you gotta get out of the box. Three seconds, two seconds, one, go. Split jump, you can come back to that middle pop if you need to, that base in the middle. Come on, Raj, come on, pop, drop. Like there's a trap door on your head. Drop, drop, come on, push, push through, push through. You only have six more seconds to make it count. Keep the knee over your ankle, keep the chest up, rest. Good, push up position, alternating row. If you have to go back to just being here, you can. I'd like you to start in the plank. If you can start in the plank, I'd love you to do it. So that means we're gonna get here. You have to squeeze your thighs. You have to squeeze your core, belly to back. You gotta lock it out, strong arms in the ground, and you gotta get your feet a little wider. Pull, return, pull, return. You can't let your body sway all over the place. It has to stay locked in or you can't do it because you're gonna get hurt. So smart work, smart work. Get set up, get your dumbbells in front of you. You guys can decide where you're headed. I hope to see all you guys starting in the plank. Regress from there, set, go. Come on, I'm watching, I'm watching. I don't wanna see buns shaking around like they're a bowl of jello. We're looking for locked up glutes. You make fists with your glutes. Like I'm gonna try to punch you right in the butt, Roger, and it's just gonna be like, what? Bouncing off you like nothing. Come on, come on, Jill, come on, Jill. Pull, pull, rest. Getting better, we're getting better. We got a dumbbell thruster. Dumbbell stay here. Don't you guys even try it on me. At home, if you gotta go body weight, go ahead. I'm not gonna say anything, but it's only 20 seconds worth of work. Light dumbbells is fine. If you gotta just change your range of motion and you don't go so deep, you can do that too. But when you come down, what we're looking for right here is we wanna get those elbows docked right inside those knees so the knees stay out, feet stay flat, sit those hips back, chest up, and you gotta drive through to the top. Biceps next to your ear, dumbbells over your shoulder. That's the pattern. If it's too hard low, stay up top. You can crank upper body and kill this without crushing your lower. Two, one, go. Sitting back, drive up. That's nice. So, Roger's taking a control pattern. He's fighting down and he's powering through. He controls down, that brings a little more pain in the legs. And look, we got Chad just up and down, up and down. Punching, sitting back, keeps his form, looks good, Nicole. Two more seconds, Jill, done. Dumbbell swing, okay? So here's what you guys have at home. You can use one dumbbell or you can use two. And I'm gonna show you the difference. One dumbbell, you're gonna set those feet a little bit wide. You're gonna grab the handle with your fingers interlaced. You're gonna hinge your hips back like you're trying to open a door with your backside. You're gonna push it away with a slight bend in the knees. So we're gonna hinge back, flat back, pop through. If you wanna come up a little more American style swing, they call it, you can drive it up a little higher. Don't let the dumbbell go over your head. If you want to use double, it's right here like a skier swing. That's your call. We're going in four. Three, two, one, go. Ah, Jill's got, and look at this, right there, she's got that pop, that action in her hip. You guys see it, stay with me, pop. Squeezes the glutes to put the brakes on, but she's got that, it's from the hips, not from the arms, guys. It's from the hips. Good, 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 come on. Three, two, one, rest. You guys did a really good job of that. You did a really good job. Remember, that move comes from your hips and your legs. Your arms are like chains. You're gonna move forward to a goblet squat with rotation. So what does that mean? We're gonna hold the dumbbell right here. Hands up, dumbbell's gonna be on our chest. You're gonna squat down, hips back. Rotate as you come up, but I want you to stay hips, open, hips turn, foot opens up. When we come back, you stay center line. So we don't wanna come back and be off our line falling apart. You guys having some fun back here? I see you smiling at somebody. You know what I mean? Don't leave me out of the joke. Because, I mean, we're in like, we're in the blitz right now, and I gotta know what's up. Set it up. Set it up. Two, one, go. Good, now listen, you guys have 20 seconds worth of work. What does that mean? You keep your core locked in. You drive your feet through the floor like you're trying to push this ground 50 feet away from you, fast. Explode up. Get that rotation from your upper back. Let that hip travel with your shoulders. Push, push. Three, two, one, rest. Yeah, yeah, it's starting now. I can see there's some sweat deposits right now being made. Alternating high pull from a hang. So, 
good. It's gonna set our feet about hip width apart. We're gonna slide those dumbbells right on the outside of our legs. You're gonna drive your hips through, and as you do that, pull, pull, pull. If you've gotta widen your base and come inside, I'll take that. If it just feels awkward for you here, if you wanna do double arm and get nuts, you can do that. Slide the dumbbells down your legs, push the hips back. Five seconds, set it up, guys. Three, two, and one. Go for it. Oh, I'm sneaking up on Chad. I'm sneaking up. I'm just watching you, brother. Good. Hips back. Good. Slide those dumbbells right down your legs. Good. Come straight down that body line. Pull. Drive the elbows to the sky. Come on. Come on, Raj. Drive the hips through. Elbows up. That's it. That is it. That's the intensity right there, Jim. Punch that elbow up. Hit somebody in the head. Bam! Rest. That's the intensity. You guys see her back there? She came up. Pop. She means business. 20 seconds. You have to to get it to work. Skater hop. So we got the skater hop. I'm not saying anything, but Nicole, we might be focused on you a little bit because you got to show up. World class, we're going to see. Skater hop side to side. If you need to, you're going to get that tap going. I just want you to move quick. Let your arms do what they need to do and drive. Push your feet through the floor. Feel the ground underneath your feet. Be aware, okay? You want to make it harder, you just jump wider, jump higher. Hot floor, absorb, hip and knee, and roll. Three, two, one, go. Good. I just got to see what they see for a second. Oh, it looks good. It looks good. Get some time in. Come on. I'm going to make my way through. Where are you going, Raj? Oh, I got it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Push it. Drive the ground away. Nicole, let me see when we get tired, girl. Getting low, getting low. And rest. Good job. Good job. You stood up. Jump squat. This time, if you want to do the power squat, it's right down right up. So we're not pausing on either side. I'd rather you add a little bit of a hop to it. So I don't even care if it's this big. Hop, hop, hop. As long as you don't have any hip, knee, or ankle issues and it feels good, you start hopping like a bunny rabbit. I want to see you bounce. So it's all about elasticity. Floor's hot. We don't want to take our time and come up. Quick. Down up, down up, down up, down up. Explosive. Come on. We've got to be athletes right now. We've got to be warriors right now. Two, one, Go. Come on. Let me see how many. Hey, I'm counting. I'm counting, Chad. In my mind, I'm counting because I'm going to get you last round. You better match it. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get that head to my hand. Get that head to my hand. Yes. Now, that's what you had left in the tank. He's trying to lay back on me right there. Come on. Down and up, down and up, down and up. Two, one, rest. I know we can do it. Good work, man. Good work. 60 seconds. Feel starting to come up now. Starting to come up now. Yeah, so now you're know, looking at us like, oh man, this is easy, this isn't so bad. Now you get it. So you gotta bring your heart rate down right now. Big breath in, big breaths out. Get a little bit of water, get yourself centered, get yourself focused. Regain that composure because we have one round left. Maybe a little more juice at the end, we don't know. One round left to put this one in the bank, to make it count and I want you guys to get after it. Whatever you used last time, you use it again or you jack it up a little bit. As long as you can keep form. It's 20 seconds. Jack it up, you heard that? Yeah, last name, you know what I mean. Jack it up. Okay, so, questions? No, no questions, only answers. Nine seconds. Come on, come on, five seconds. We got that reverse lunge with that knee drive. Hey, uh, anybody wanna grab a little dumbbell? No, it's all right, I'll let you go. Go, come on. You want to make it harder at home, you can put a little bit of weight in your hands. Doesn't have to be real deep. And if you're not going to put weight in your hands, Chad, switch feet. Give me a little hop there. Give me a little hop at the top. Oh, yeah, control it. Control it, though. Come on. Yeah, it's a boy. Two, one, done. The hop, right? Take it to the next level. It's the little things. It doesn't have to be big things. Intention, intention. You want to be fast, you want to be bad, then get it done in 20 seconds. T push up, same deal. We push up, we rotate. If the push ups get hard, you're just gonna do that plank rotation. So we just got that right here, locking it down, strong body line. Option two, down, up, strong body line, reach the hands apart. Option three, we're gonna make that push up harder. So it's half up. So we had a one and a half. Good luck. Gotta move quick. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Make your rotation. Oh, I like it, Chad. That's quick. So it's just that little pre-exhaust. So what happens is muscle expands, contracts. It's like, mm, and then you hit it again, and it's like, bam. It's cumulative. 
Here we go. Here we go. Ten seconds to go. Come on, Jill. Come on, Jill. And Jill's just grinding through. I love it. I love it. Push. Lock. Keep that core in line. Two. One. Done. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love that you just called me out right there. Did you see that? He's like, take that. That's Roger Law. Jailbreak back here, man. And I love it. Keeps me honest. Next exercise. Split squat jump. Split squat jump. So you guys remember, it's just one up, one back. You go as deep as you can. What's important is we're getting tired. So when we have high intensity work, short bouts, we have to manage our form because there's more at stake. So when we drop, we don't want that knee going way forward and all the pressure being here. It has to sit back, foot flat. Four, three, two, one. Here we go. Good. So Roger's got that back to split. So pop, dress, drop down, Roger. Just bang. Like, boom. Like there's a trap door on your head. I just want you to let it drop. Drop. Quick. Good. There we go, Chad. It's my MMA guy right there getting in the game. Round three. He knows he's only got a little bit of time to get better. And time. All right. So we got that plank position row. All right. Get the plank position row. Well, you don't even know. If you want to get nuts, we're going to add a little travel with it. So the travel is going to look like this. You're going to have your dumbbells. You're going to be in that plank position, locking it down. Glutes, quads, core, everything solid. Feet are a little bit wider. Pull, pull, step, step. Pull, pull, step, step. Everything has to stay in line. You can't lose your core and your presence when you travel. Otherwise, stay in place and get it done. Five, four, three, two, here we go. Come on, come on. Let's stay right here. Oh, I like it. If I stayed right here, I could just put my little, my dinner with my steak and my veggies and everything right on his back, and I could just eat it. My, my drink's right there. It's not going anywhere on Roger Law. That's what you want right here. Flat back, rip the dumbbell up to your ribs, strong legs, two, one, done. Woo wee! Dumbbell thruster, dumbbell thruster. No rest for the weary. So we can do it with what we love, this little combo we love. It's called a single, single, double. Let me show you what it looks like. I'll borrow your dumbbells. Thank you. So it would look like this. You're gonna dip, one, dip, one, dip, double. So coordination brings it in. You would alternate arms. So on the next one, if you just want to straight rip it and be beast mode, which I know you do, you can just double drive. It's your call. It's your call, but we're giving you some stuff to play with. Change it up every time you see us and you come with us. Three, two, one, go. Good. I like it. I got a couple single, single doubles. Come on, I'm going to let you guys run that for about 10 seconds, and I'm going to make you just press. So here we go. Come on. 10 seconds. Just press. Double press. Down and up. Quick with good form. Good. Drive. Dip, drive. Drive your feet through the ground. Drive your hands through the ceiling. Three, two, one, rest. Unbelievable. So we're back to those swings. We're back to those swings. Hey, Chad, I know it's round three. Pull that kettlebell out, bro. I'm going to jack you up a little bit. If you guys got kettlebells at home, you're more than welcome to use them anytime. Play with them. He's going to do a single arm kettlebell swing. He's going to switch in the halfway point. You guys are just business as usual. Punching the clock, you know what I mean? We, so we got that swing here, or we got that double arm, bilateral, that skier swing. Just make sure you push the hips back, like a waiter, right there, back's flat. Push them back, drive them through, lock it up with the glutes. That puts the brakes on, protects the back. Two, one, done. Ha <laughs> ha, you ain't done. We're just getting going. The rest is done, Roger. Come on, come on, keep that back flat. Push those hips back, hinge those hips back. Push those hips in the wall behind you. Come on, guys. Good, that's it. You're switching it up if you haven't, Chad. Oh, I saw the switch. I see it. Come on. Stay back on those. Stay back, Roger. Stay back. Stay back. Time. <sighs> I love Roger Law. He is the best. Goblet squat with rotation. You're all the best. It's my crew right here. You're part of our crew right here. So we're going to hold that dumbbell right here. If you want to make it harder, go up and wait. Deep and get deeper with that range of motion. So we'd be down, drive up drive up. So you're not trying to get up like you're just going over to grab some more food at the buffet. You're getting up like there's a fire under your backside and it's time to go. That's what we got to do, right? Yep, yep, yep. So we have five seconds. We're going to goblet squat and rotate. Three, two, one, and we're gone. Good. That's it. Drive those feet through the floor. Drive those feet through the floor. Good. 
See the intention right here? See the intention? He's under control, but he is punching his feet through the ground like he's got a problem with it. Like the ground's got an attitude and he's gonna stomp on it. Five seconds, let's go. This is how you get your stress out. Rest. And see, that's what's beautiful about these workouts. They're fast, they're efficient, they're total body, they're sweat boxes, sweat storms, you're leaving it all out. Everything works, but the beauty of it is, you leave the world behind. You let it all go right here. That's what we want you to do. Get it out. Get ready. We got double arm high pull. You guys ready for it? From the hang. So you guys can still go single if you want, or you can just hit some doubles. Hit some doubles. So get right up into that extension. So we call it triple extension. Hips, knees, and ankles, we're straight and we're up and down. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead. That's it, that's it, good. Drag those elbows right up toward the ceiling. Keep that dumbbell close to the body line. Dumbbells close to the body line, that's it. Good, I talked last time about Jill. Look at the intention, look at the intensity. Up with the elbows, She's trying to, she is trying to get work done. Five seconds, come on Nicole, let those arms go straight at the bottom, straight at the bottom. If you can, time. And I like it, you stayed within yourself. I gave her a cue, she stayed where she was because she felt good, heart rate's up, she's working her total body, that's smart training, I love that. She overrode me, she's like vetoed, he's out. Skate or hop. Just side to side, you still can do that tap, or you can let it fly. You only got one more chance today to really let it fly to get it done. So if you're within yourself, if you feel good, if you got no issues, I want you to push your foot away from that floor like it doesn't like anything about you and you don't like anything about it. Get away, get in the air. You got five seconds. This should get the heart rate up. Let's get rolling. Two, one, and we go. Good, 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 side to side. Drive, drive, drive. Come on, land and go. Don't stay on the ground. Get a little more width for me, Raj. Load that leg a little bit, come on. Load, let that foot travel behind. Let that foot go behind, stick it behind. There you go, Nicole. Speed skater, world class. Show them what's up, girl. It's your time to shine. Two, one, done. Oh, we saved the best for last. So when it all comes up, this is your last chance in the third round to get crazy. So we want to do that jump squat. And I want you guys to get off the floor, up and down, like it's a thousand degrees, up and down. Hips go back, as the knees bend, you get up, you get up. Come on, this is your chance. Dunk style, right? Word, he just dropped it on me. All right, come on. Big breath, big breath in. Blow it out, give me everything you have. All I want is 20 seconds, everything you got. In five, four, three, two, one, Go. Come on, down and up, down and up. That's it. We got the knee tuck with Chad. Oh, I like it. I'm coming up to take a look. See the knee tuck? See the knee tuck? Stay right here with me. See the knee tuck? But he controls the landing. You can deserve this when you can own that. That's the deal. Come on, come on. Come on, Nicole. Come on, Jill. Three, two, one. Rest. Yeah. We figured, we talked about this. We figured we'd let you guys finish right now. Nah, uh We're gonna give you some love. We're gonna do a little guns and buns, because you know what, when the sun's out, the guns come out, and this, we're gonna get it going, we're gonna get it going. So it's a quick, we call these things a finisher or a big finish. It's when you didn't think you have anything left, and you come back and you give it a little bit more. The cool part about this is, it's gonna be different body parts, and it's gonna be a little bit of a burn, it's gonna work your core, it's gonna work your glutes, it's gonna work your guns. So we're gonna hit it all right here. We're gonna do two rounds of five exercises, okay? The first exercise, you're gonna grab both your dumbbells. You guys can hang, get set up, whatever you wanna do. And uh, this one's just gonna be an alternating or double arm curl. So it's either here or here. And I want you guys to grab a weight where you can rip out about 12 to 15 of these in 20 seconds. You guys ready? Two, one, go. Come on, yes, yes, gun show, come on. Beautiful, locked in, nice and steady up top. I don't care if you get a little bit of a pop, that's okay. 10 more seconds, squeeze. Squeeze the dumbbell, squeeze the hand up to the chest. Come on, come on, come on, curl hard and rest. We're gonna take those dumbbells down to the ground. You guys are gonna lay back with them, okay? We're only resting for 20, so get ready to get it done. So we're gonna press right here, okay? I might not even give you 20. Let's set it up. No 20, I'm taking it away. Right here, press, set, go. Come on, come on, come on. Drive it through, drive it through. Open the hands up a little bit, that's it. We get into that tricep a little bit more right there. 
going. Don't stop at the top. We're going to go up and down, up and down. We're going to keep that muscle under tension. Never going to let it rest. Five, four, three, two, one. Put the dumbbells off to the sides a little bit so you have some room. As fast as I can tell you, we're in. We're going to stay down. We're going to do a glute bridge. Hands down to the side. We're going to go right here. Squeeze the glutes up. It's not an arch of the back. We squeeze the glutes like we're making fists with our backside. And we push the hips up toward the ceiling. Nice straight line. We're going to pause for a second at the top. Return, squeeze, return. Set, go. Come on, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Give me a one second squeeze at the top. And here's what I want you to do. With every squeeze, find more. Harder squeeze in the glutes. Push the hips up to the ceiling without the arch. Squeeze, push the feet through the floor. Three, two, one, rest. You got a rolling plank, guys. So you guys are gonna come forward. You're gonna put your elbows on the ground. You guys are gonna just stay with me. I'm just gonna run this one with you, okay? So we're gonna lock it out, get set up. Squeeze the thighs, squeeze the glutes. We're gonna roll off to a side. Elbows under the shoulder, we plank. We're gonna pause through there. We plank, you guys ready? Starting in the center. You guys ready at home? Set, go. Roll off to a side, straight body line. And we come back through. You're on your own pace. You can stay with me at home if you want, but I just want you to pause just a second in each spot. Just a second in each spot. Come on. Couple more seconds. And rest, stay right where you are. Come down to the ground. So here we go. This is a little bit of a back raise. Toes stay on the floor. Hips drive into the ground. You're gonna squeeze your glutes like you're trying to pinch a quarter between them. We're gonna put our hands lightly by the side of our head. Our, our eyes are looking down toward the ground so our neck's not bent like this. It's a very small movement. Squeeze the shoulder blades, keep the hips down, squeeze the glutes, pause there, and we return. Go. Come on. Keep those hips, keep those glutes squeezed. Squeeze them. Just a very small range of motion here. Couple inches at home. You got back issues, doesn't feel right, Change it or don't do it. Got to be careful with the core. Three, two, one, rest. We're back on our feet right away. Grab your dumbbells, we're curling, okay? We're curling. Here we go, you got about two seconds, no rest at home. This time there's no rest in between besides what the exchange is. We're gonna hit it. Set it up, ready, go. Curl, come on, come on, get a lot of reps in. If you want to jack them up, go double and just pound them out. Double and just knock them out. You will feel the biceps, come on. Keep rolling, keep rolling. Good look, Chad, good look. Guns, baby, guns. Here we go. You're gonna need a permit for those things. We're gonna go down on the ground. We're gonna do that tricep press. So you guys lay back. Ready, go. Come on, rep them out, rep them out, rep them out. Up and down, up and down, up and down. If that's easy, you can do a little skull crusher for me, Raj. Oh yeah, keep those elbows back. Drive those dumbbells up. Come on, come on. Got about nine seconds. Burn that out a little bit. Now finish with the presses. Bang them out. Come on. Move, move, move. Two, one, rest. Dumbbells just roll them out of your way. Going in the glute bridge. So we're back down on the ground. Bring those heels towards you. We're gonna set ourselves up. Squeeze those hips up and I want you to find them at the top. Set, go. Good, not a big back arch, not a big back arch. Good, and if at home you're having trouble with that, you're just gonna set your back first, like there's a little orange underneath your low back. You're gonna squeeze your back down into it, sets the hips, then you do your raise. That'll help protect your low back. Two, one, rest. We're going on the front. We got that core. So we're gonna go back to that plank position. So I got you right here. So we get those elbows under our shoulders. We lock those quads in those thighs, squeeze those glutes, belly to back, and now here we go, roll. Straight body line, roll. Good, straight body line. You wanna get nuts? You can bring a leg up as you get to the side. You can pause as long as your hips don't drop. Stay with it, stay with it. Oh, Chad, one up me, bro. Keep those hips up, I love the adjustment right there. Two, one, rest. What we got to finish, what we got to finish. Back raise, that's right. My man Roger Law is straight in it right now coming back with him and Jill. So hips stay down, squeeze the glutes together. Hands lightly by the side of your head. Don't crank the neck. Ready, go. Small range of motion, very small. You guys should feel something in the upper back. Coming to you right here with Nicole. You guys should feel something right here because you're squeezing those elbows back and you're trying to 
a little pop of grape or squeeze a nut right there, and a little bit in your low back and your glutes because you're firing them up. Finish strong, guys. One, done. That's it right there. Total body blitz. You get explosive, you get after it, you get in, you get out, and then as an added bonus, you work the guns, you work the buns. Have a great day. Good work. Good job.